Today's Back to Basics topic is about lab power supplies. We'll talk about why there are three terminals on each of these single supplies, and how you'd hook them up for different applications, and even how you'd hook them up to create a split supply for your favorite circuit that you're working on. This is a topic that is pretty basic, but uh, comes up quite often, so I thought it's worth a short video. And so the first thing we'll talk about is why are there three terminals? Well, the best thing is to draw an analogy to a battery. We can think of a power supply as just an adjustable battery or adjustable DC voltage source. And just as a battery has a positive terminal and a negative terminal, so does the power supply. And also a battery does not have an inherent ground connection, right? I can connect this end to ground and have a voltage that's one and a half volts above ground by connecting that to ground here. Or I could connect ground to this side and have a voltage here that's one and a half volts below ground. And that's the same concept with the power supply here. You can decide where you're going to reference ground with respect to the adjustable battery or the adjustable DC voltage out of the power supply. So if I turn the power supply on here, uh, we can see that I've got about, oh, about 15 volts or so between the positive and negative terminals. But with respect to ground, uh, there really isn't any predefined voltage at all. Okay, But we can take a jumper and connect the ground terminal to say the negative output and now with respect to ground uh, we can see that we've got a positive 15 volts with respect to ground. If we simply move our ground reference to the positive output of the power supply now with respect to ground the output is minus 15 volts. So with the same single uh, 15 volt power supply or uh, whatever we adjusted it to we can get a positive or a negative voltage output. Now the output of these power supplies can be floated, meaning that uh, I can connect uh, the positive and negative terminal to really another voltage. It doesn't have to be ground. So I can stack power supplies together, for example. In fact, these little uh, HP power supplies that are about 40 years old, they can be floated up to 300 volts uh, above or below ground. So you can actually stack power supplies together. For example, I've got both these power supplies adjusted to about 15 volts. Let's uh, get the terminals here right. So there's 15 volts on that power supply. There's 15 volts on this power supply here. If I take a, a jumper and I connect from the positive of this top power supply to the negative on the lower power supply, now with respect to ground, the output of the, po the lower power supply is 30 volts because we've got 15 volts contributed by this supply 15 volts contributed by this supply, and with respect to ground, they were in series, so I'm getting a 30 volt output by stacking the power supplies together. So let's say the circuit you're working on calls for a plus and minus 15 volt power supply, and this is very common with older op amp circuits. How would we set this up? We'd set both power supplies to about 15 volts, so I've got uh, my 15 volts between the positive and negative terminals of each power supply. Uh, we would take uh, one power supply, let's call this one to be the positive supply, so we'll connect its negative output to ground. So now this terminal here is going to be positive 15 volts with respect to ground. But now we'll take that ground connection and also connect it to the positive terminal of the lower supply. So that's going to be a ground, but we know this terminal is also 15 volts above the negative terminal for that power, uh, power supply. So with respect to ground, this voltage is going to be 15 volts negative. So now I've got a plus and minus 15 volt supply and a common ground. So those are the three connections you take to your op amp circuit. Plus 15, minus 15, and ground. This is very much the same as taking two batteries, sticking them in series like that, connecting ground at the middle and having plus one and a half and minus one and a half volts on either side of the batteries. Because again, you can consider the positive and negative terminals of a power supply as nothing more than an adjustable battery. Now one thing to note is that I've, even though we haven't made a connection between the ground terminal of this power supply and the ground terminal of this one, they are electrically connected because they're typically connected to the ground through the mains. So I, I really could have gotten away with simply 
putting this connection to the ground terminal here, but I like ensuring that everything is tied to a common point, so I've, I've connected it up this way. So the ground terminals between the power supplies are common, but the positive and negative terminals of independent power supplies are isolated from each other and can be stacked or floated. Uh, you would have to check the specifications or data sheet for the particular power supplies you're using to determine how far that power supply can be floated above or below ground. So I hope this video helped to take a little bit of the mystery out of why you've got three terminals on a power supply and how you can use those to stack power supplies together or create split supplies for the circuits that you're working on. And if you like this video, you know, give me a big thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and tell your friends. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.